Hey guys, Heath Baker with Predator Tactics. Another how-to hand call video, and today we got the old croaky open read long range rabbit hand call from PT. So, again, open read. Now, I really like open reads because you can do a lot of a lot of stuff with it. You can create a lot of different sounds, a lot of different pitches, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So, I hold the call, I put my hand kind of toward the end of it and it goes in between my thumb and index finger and my middle finger like all the rest of the hand calls that I blow go over the end and I do that to create affliction okay my fingers wiggling off the end now to start off to create a really raspy rabbit sound my mouth is going all the way up to the end of the reed against the front of the call okay Now, I'm blowing long, longer bursts of air. Wow, so you're thinking, okay? Now when I do this, I do it for you know, 15, 20 seconds, I let off, go back 15, 20 seconds, let off. I might wait 30, 40 seconds in between. So, back to it. Now whenever I am blowing air through this, I also slide my mouth down a little bit on the reed, and then I'll slide it back up, and what that does is it creates a higher pitch Now, also, whenever you're blowing this call, if you wanna like do a high pitch rodent sound, you can put your mouth toward the end of the reed and flutter your, your, your bottom lip. Now, remember, when you're blowing an open reed call, you don't wanna put your teeth on the reed. You wanna curl your lips, your teeth should never touch the reed. And you, whenever you're blowing air and you have your lips up to the front, you're not you're not lightly putting your lips on it, you're kinda squeezing down on that reed in the bottom of the call with your lip. Now you hear that little little flutter at the end. All I'm doing there is I'm taking the call and I'm coming out on the end of the reed and I'm moving the call in my mouth. So you want to think about be mindful the the more air you put through it that also changes the tone so you just really want to mix it up you don't want to have like a a, a, re a repetitive sound you want to mix it up slide your mouth down on the reed create high pitches low pitches you just really want to make it sound like something is in distress that rabbit is really hurt and you can you can fluctuate back from longer bursts of air to sharper bursts of air. <laughs> now, also to create a rodent sound, what you do is you stay on the end of the reed right here, you curl your lips, and you're bouncing your lip, okay? So basically your lips are going like this on the reed on the end, you wanna stay down here on the end to keep that high pitch sound. <laughs> Kinda of sounds like a bird, a, a rodent, but if you got a coyote close and you wanna start out with, with the rodent sound just to entice one that might be right there in front of you in a bush, in a ditch, whatever, that's a great sound to start out with. So, get you an old croaky, practice, and kill coyotes.